Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Give It a Shot. Give It a Shot, Give It a Shot is a series where I play a game I never played before, and I see if it's worth playing a little bit more. It's a first impression series, so you know the type. Uh, today on Give It a Shot, we have Horus. All I can tell you is that it was free on the Epic Game Store, and that is indeed how I'm playing it. Uh, for once, I could tell you when. Uh, it is actually today, which might date this episode. I don't really know. Anyway, I think it's supposed to be a platformer, but I cannot tell you that for sure. Looks like it's building a little robot whose name may or may not be Horus. I did not turn on cutscene skip. Uh, so we do have to watch this for sure, do, do we? Oh, wow. If you press A during the cutscene, it pauses it. All right, we're the first one. First one out of the factory, hot off the press, uh, fresh out of the oven. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. We can do this. Oh, he looks kind of sad, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Where am I? I am a robot named Horace Man 2.0. Ouch! You have dropped me. Oh, we're moving. We're moving, we're shaking. Shaking and moving, as they like to say. Um. Solomon Automation. Oh, we're a butler! That looks like a rich entrepreneur. Or by his big house. He's smoking a cigarette that's bad for you, but it's also your prerogative. I'm confused, okay. Oh, I get it. So, like, they're replacing the butler with the robot, and the butler knows it, and he's jealous. I get it. I get it. I really do. Here we are. Whoa. Why are we... We are walking awful and slow. So oh. I was born. The first people I remember seeing were the old man, the, the old, old lady, lady, and their daughter. And their daughter. Hear that. After they'd said hello. The old man After they down. said hello, so the old man paired me down. So I'm not sure what accent I'm trying to do. I can't do an I accent. Tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice or stupid personality. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather really didn't like me. Oh, why Heather? Once I'd had time to get used to walking, the old to man walking. asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Dash. Whoa, I'm Naruto running. Go, 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 go. What a big house. I made it. Next, the old man spent a couple of hours building some wooden platforms. He said he wanted me to jump up them. But I must admit, I was scared. Okay. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. How did you get your fortune, sir? Was it by building things? Hooray! Well, so far, so good. Nothing not to like yet. I'm, I'm guessing we have to go up. No, we could have gone either way. Nope. We probably had to... Well, I'm not going to explain it. You understand. To reach the other end of the room without touching without the floor. Touching the, floor. the floor's made of lava. Lava. I smiled at her. She just frowned and Yo, looked away. Yo, Heather. The old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. What kind of weird story is it? I mean, I'm having fun. Whoops. Whoa, that is lava. Here we go. When Boom. I reached the other side, the old man just smiled and said, that'll do. For now. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Begin. 
Be bold and venture to be wise, Quintus Horatius Flaccus. Chapter 1, Learning to Walk. This has more fully voiced cutscenes than I'm used to in two-dimensional platformers. Now who are you? Who are you? I already know, that's Heather. Who are you? Though that is a different old lady. Days after those first lessons, the family had a big meal, and I was introduced to everyone else. The professor was the old man's brother. He oh. was very quiet, and always seemed to just kind of stare at me. He had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He That's kind of house I want, you know what I'm saying? Leaving everything up to his butler, no, I want a nice uh, little little house, it would be fine. Everyone call him. Although the professor always I think there's a certain Michael. call the older you get to own while, property, but also busted. I'm just talking out of but my butt, I'm, I don't really know that. As he thought it sounded racist. Mr. Silton was the old man's driver. Before oh, he's he the driver. I thought he was like the son. He was the driver in the post office robbery, although it all went wrong for some reason. Mr. Silton showed me a video of his band. I'm sure some people must like it. Oh, I just be nice. Found it terrifying. Then there was Alice. She this was is funny. She was a nice old lady. When she was younger, she had been a TV chef. Then, years later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. Oh, she dear. She old newspapers and bicycles. And something about a poo in a shoebox. Oh. Oh, no. The next morning, the old man gathered everyone together to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? Asked Mr. Silton. This is a really long cutscene. Uh, like, I'm having a good he time, I'm laughing, it's, a, it's all good, it's a big old smile on my face. My newspaper but this is taking a long time. Alice. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady. Good, don't enable do bad habits. Sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton, shove a stick up his ass and he can do Dex jobs. Yo! Now, now, said the old man, we have company pointing to some important looking people. Two large men, both called Gary, set up what the old man referred to as lasers. He said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other. Why are you doing this? Worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. He said it was like infinite lies in a video game. But when he realized I didn't understand, he said he would explain another time. Okay, okay, alright. We're still in the sort of tutorial phase here. Um, haven't quite gotten to move on from this little area. Oops! Oh boy. Ah! I'm trying to go really fast because I want to get to the next thing. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Alright. Hooray! Everybody clapped, except the important looking men. Not exactly a cold calculated killer, is it? Said the man in black. The Why am I supposed to be a killer? What kind of artificial intelligence was that? He asked. Move right. Unless there's something in the way. Okay, okay, said the old man. He turned to me and whispered, they're going to make it quite a bit tougher. Oh boy. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Now... Does the game begin now, or is this all just it? Look out! Oh, we have to duck. Okay, well that makes sense. Alright, alright, alright. I got it. Ah! Oh. Wait. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get hit by that. There we go. Hey! La da 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 
da da da da da. Good little music. Ha! Ah! The garage then rearranged the room one last time. Okay, one the last time. Smiled. I'm gonna now, now. There's take no your word on it. So blunt, he said. I'm still happy with everything you've done today. Oh, well, thank so you. Time, I was determined to do him proud. All right. Here we go. Ah. Okay. We have to, like, race it over here when it passes by. And we'll just do it again real quick. And, uh, yep. just a little English, a little bit of English, and keep it rolling. The old man's friends actually seemed quite happy when I made it through. Good. We might have a winner after all, said the man in black. It's no kill bot 3000, but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. I don't think he wants to a be a killer. Later, the old lady said she had a surprise for me. A birthday My cake. Oh. She also wanted to That's play good me some too. music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. Oh, he likes it. I think he likes classical music. As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television set. I couldn't believe what I saw. I watched everything I could. Comedy, drama, horror, sci-fi. Anything anyone wanted to watch, I would happily watch with them. Aww. Then one day, Sounds the like old he's man a friend. set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television and said, This is what I meant when I said video games. Me too. I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. I had enjoyed music, film, and television. I do but too, to me, Horace. Video games really were the highest art form. Oh, in my opinion, I also feel that way, buddy. I mean, yeah, well, probably music. I would probably say it would be the table tennis for two. Okay, we're playing table tennis for two. Bow. I'm a little confused as to what this game is. And when that happens, I'm usually pretty happy uh, with what the game turns out to be. Oh, dude. We, we are smoking this guy at table tennis for two. Bow. Put a little stank on it. Check it out. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. Her mum and dad had bought her a camera and arranged her a camera and arranged so that you could to take see. some photos. Although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing. Oh. It could destroy the world. Why do people I wasn't say sure that? What he meant, That's but really the old mean. Man just smiled and said, "That's, That's what you what said, said about the Game Boy." About the and game on, boy. And Tom, how about you? And Tom, how about you? The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch at Woolworths. Uh -huh. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. The old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silton drove, okay. and Alice came along for the fresh air. Can I, like, play I now? being outside. Although, the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. Be careful of the rickety like old walkways. Off, but I think she was just concerned. Is there, like, a, gonna be a twist or something? Oh, I hope the old man doesn't die. As the old man and I stood on the cliff tops, I could see something in the distance. I what wasn't is it? Sure what it was, so I asked the old man. 
He said it was a battleship that had sunk. Old in man, the that hat would look really good on Horus. He looked so sad. It would match his uh, color war. palette well. I didn't see what happened, but the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. Oh! She was safe, even if the rocks she was on looked very dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the Coast Guard was going to be. So I offered to climb down and get her. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful. Okay. Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. She only has the one. Hey, now here's the thing. <clears throat> oh. Speed run. Ah! Okay, speed run. Oh, you, there are no checkpoints. I'm, I'm realizing that very quickly. <clears throat> Boom. Boom. Okay. Well, how far away did she fall? Gee whiz. Oh, no! No! It's gonna take forever. Yo, okay. Listen. You know, what happens when you try to do good and you try to achieve great things? You learn. Okay. Easy. Heather was unconscious. And her leg was broken. I will help you, Heather. So I picked her up as gently as I could. I decided it would be best if I didn't run the rest of the way. Fine. Ooh, I definitely don't want to hit that now. Fry Heather. How did you know her leg was broken? Are you a medical bot? <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! An ambulance had arrived by the time I had made it back to the cliff top. The medics made sure Heather was okay, and then took her off to the hospital. Off to the hospital with you. A few days later, we all went to see how she was doing. How were you doing, she Heather? Was fine, but would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. Oh, he loves her. She's accepted him because he saved her life. This is a beautiful story about love and acceptance and family. And what it means to really be uh, a part of a family. Without, you know, being related by blood. Or by marriage. Okay, now don't run with Heather. She's in a wheelchair. Oh, now this is lovely. Once got to know me, we became good friends. Good. We enjoyed the same films and TV. She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games. After a while, she became very interested in how I worked. Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did. If not more. Okay. Again, we very compelling. Of months visiting other countries, as when it came but to what the heck things, is going on? The old man always liked to pick interesting locations. He had explained the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. What do you do for a living? And even showed me science in action high up in a hot air balloon. Oh. This is why I was That's dangerous. when the old man took me to a restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. Oh no. He said he just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Okay. As it was his favorite place to eat. Oh, well that's totally fine. We talked about life, the universe. Douglas Adams. Everything, really. When I asked him, why were we here? Why did we exist? He just smiled and said, life is like a game. 
just don't expect to be finished anytime soon. Okay. When I looked puzzled. He said, well, everyone should have a purpose. What is my so purpose? Him, What's my purpose? He thought for a bit, then said, so you want to be a real boy. Does he? Which Do I, Horus? Even more. Eventually the old man said, for now, I want you to help clean things around the house. Oh. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, okay. I want you to clean clean one, one million, million things. things. It didn't sound like the meaning of life. But I suppose you've got to start somewhere. One million things. A man can't have everything. Where would he put it, Terence Allen Spike Milligan? Learning my Next purpose. Day, oh, goodness gracious. He wanted to install some more software, so he powered me down. Oh. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me, and that I should pull his finger. I don't think I got the joke. So the old man powered me down again. This time when I pulled Mr. Yeah. Silton's finger, I got the joke. But it wasn't very funny. The old man then explained that he had installed this special what a humor chip, chip? allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby. Wait. And how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. Did... It all sounded very complicated. I thought he was like giving me a personality really one step at a time. Pause, and it would bring up all the information I needed. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. Alright. He told me there would be some chains to climb, but that would be nice and easy, as I just had to press up. He then finished by saying, when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. Okay, you got it. Oh, ten junk. Look, we're getting all the junk. For some reason. Wait, do I have to like... Okay. Wait, we're not, I'm, not, I'm not done yet. <clears throat> I mean, it's fun enough. We, we saw another environment. I was wondering if maybe there are some... Oh, oh. Maybe there's some more environments as such. Or if the lion's share is going to be in this large warehouse. <clears throat> ah. Ah. Okay, I think that's all the junk. Let's swing way over here. Alrighty, we got it. I guess. I've cleaned up all the junk, my lady. My lord. Have I not? Is there something up here that maybe I missed? Ah! Uh. No? Uh... Something else I- Oh! This, right here. Alright, that'll do. That'll do. All junk cleared. then asked the old lady Heather and I to follow him outside. I was happy too, as it was a lovely hot day. Oh, great. So... The old man said he was worried that Alice had been calling again. She had filled Oh, I'm here to help Alice, is that... Articles and newspapers. Heather said, this would be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second, okay. then said, 
Using the step toe chip, I should find and clean at least 300, 300 things. things. That's easy. When yeah, I'll do that. To Alice what we wanted to do. She seemed scared. Oh, but no, Alice, I know. Kindly explained that. Well, the barn was starting to smell. About a newspaper? Okay. One last thing, said the old man. If you want to use a door, just push up. Yes, sir. When I was about to enter the old barn, Mr. Silton said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found. Oh, leave, okay. But I wasn't sure why. I think I know why. I think there might be some psychedelics in there. Whoops, alright. I guess I didn't know what I was thinking. So, if I may... Uh, we're, we're getting close to time to wrap up. Um... It seems like there's a lot of story here, which is really neat. Um, but it also seems like there's not a whole bunch to, um... Well, I'm, I'm trying to plan my words carefully because I, I don't dislike anything that I've experienced here. But it, so far it is, it does feel like about a, a half hour long tutorial. With a very engrossing story, mind you, but it's still... Uh, it seems like the game is a little more to facilitate the story it's trying to tell and not so much the, the gameplay. If that makes any sense at all, I'm, I'm just trying to level a, a criticism of it. Constructively. Because again, the gameplay is solid. The story has made me smile. Which, you know, a lot of times... I'll, oh, do, okay, I don't have to start all the way over. That's nice. I appreciate that very much. Oh, let's grab these mushrooms here. So we'll, we'll finish this up and then we'll wrap up. Give it a shot for today. If that sounds acceptable to you. I can tell you now with confidence that I want to play more of it. Oh, dude, I didn't even see that. Okay. Oh. So that bounces off over there. So that's... You gotta kinda... Book it quickly. Now, can we make that jump? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Now, I know this tune, and I also know that sometimes um, copyright claims are leveled against these videos uh, for specific tunes being in them. Uh, so you can maybe understand a little bit of my alarm after I heard this tune begin to play and I recognized it. The old man was very happy with it. Okay, we'll get past this. Um, cleaned, it's already kind I of a long episode to give it a shot anyway. More happy with his mushrooms. We'll get to like the next uh, gameplay segment. And we'll call her a day. It wasn't the days getting shorter, or the evenings getting colder. It was the falling leaves that really made me feel sad. Oh, we're in the fall. No, fall's the best season. As we watched the trees blowing in the breeze, the old lady said, The leaves must fall before the blossom comes. She had already explained the seasons to me, so for once, I actually understood. But oh, that's it great. make me feel any better. No, fall is great. The I love lady fall. Obviously heard enough of my moping. You heard said, right. Next every word. Heather was very excited and said, I've got some perfect ideas. I've got some perfect old ears. It might be best to terrifying. Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some kind of pumpkin, as everyone mm -hmm. kept shouting, it's the great pumpkin. Oh, they dressed him up as Charlie Brown. Mr. Silton was having fun telling everyone his joke. And I suppose Heather's costume was quite flattering. What is it? After what seemed like forever, everybody left. 
and things got back to normal. Heather was allowed to watch a scary film before she went to bed, but I had to help Alice and Mr. Deck clean up. I wasn't happy about this, but the old man said if I was quick, then I could watch the end of the film with them. Ah. Well, that's great. Alice was vacuuming, and Mr. Deck was taking down the decorations. So I thought I should clean up the plates and glasses. Okay, that could be good. So, um, I'm going to end it right there. This has been Horus for Give It A Shot. Yeah, give it a shot! It's... It's nice. I'm going to play it more. I'm not sure it'd make a great series, but the I'm definitely going to... sound was the fire alarm. Oh, As oh usual, I didn't Mr. mean to Mr. Silton, do that. Okay, so right after this ends, I'm going to I'm going to say my goodbyes. I, I didn't think it was going to go on to another thing. The There's a lot appeared. of story. There's a lot of like... Burning in the kitchen. You Alice play confused, for maybe like a minute and a half. Since the morning... And we then you watch like five minutes of a cutscene, which the cutscenes are cool and, and, and they're funny and they're charming and stuff. But at some point, I, Suddenly the old you know, with only like in. 25 she minutes to a half hour, you kind of want to, shouting, There's someone on the roof. you kind of want to just when play the game. Outside, it slowly became obvious that it was Mr. Silton. He was completely naked and playing his guitar. Oh boy, it's those mushrooms. Down. When I finish this song, I'm going to fly. Oh boy. The old lady said, oh my god, I know this one, there's only about 30 seconds left. The old man then quickly turned to me and said, you know what to do. Okay, very cool. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to pause it before it does another thing. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.